Okay, what? What's up? What's up, everybody? I was gonna say what the f is up, but I'm not allowed to swear on YouTube anymore. Well, it's only like the first sixty seconds. Right? Yeah, so we could just like sit in silence for another like <laughs> forty five seconds, and until the minute rolls around, then I can wake and be like. Beep, beep. You can say the beep burps. I can say the beep burps. The beep, beep burps. <laughs> oh, I can nice. get the beep burps. The beep uh, burp. <laughs> we were just talking about beatboxing, weren't we? Beep. Yeah, we were. Beep burp. Bop, beep bop. We ever didn't do that in the mic, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Blast. Yeah, getting clipping. People's ears are bleeding. <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast. This is episode. Ah, damn it! I don't know what episode it is, but it doesn't matter because it's still an episode. Um, whether or not we know which number it is, isn't going to change anything. Um, but we got a fucking awesome guest here today, dude. Sorry. Oh, what happened? I was a, I was a little celebration. I don't <laughs> okay. know. That just, yeah, it looked I'm like you're having like I'm excited, like a intense like war, ah! <laughs> yeah, like a war flashback or something. Ah! <laughs> okay, sorry, it happens sometimes. Um, down, yeah, yeah, we got a we got a rapper, producer, musician. TikTok freak. Freak. And uh, most importantly, my friend, Fred- <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Dread. Give it up, everybody. Hey, yeah. I'm pressing the applause button right here. You can't hear it, but it is playing. Oh. <laughs> I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. I can't even hear it either. The only way I could really hear it is if I had headphones on, and it'd be weird if. Only no, I had And I could hear like the muffled, on. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and every time it's like. Like deafening every time you say something, I'm like what? I'm glad that's not there. I'd be like intrusive. I'd be like, let me hear it too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Play it again. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> That'd be like a torture method. A really <laughs> a niche torture method for podcasts. I'd be funny if it wasn't even applause. It's like, yeah, that's an applause button. It's just like yeah. full, like blood curdling screams, <laughs> crying with babies farting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you listen to over there? Are Nothing. You giggling? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's not babies farting. <laughs> You think babies have grosser farts than like adults? I uh, speaking of me being on t- a TikTok freak, I, I I saw one today. A baby farting. A baby farting. It was a baby picking up a, a, t- a twenty pa- no it's ten pounds, which I was some kind of impressive. The baby it, picked up ten really, pounds. Yeah, I guess you consider it was like a two year old. That's a baby, right? Like a one year old. <laughs> yeah, it was in a diaper. <laughs> right, but it had a shirt on. Like you know, babies when they're super young, they just have a diaper on. It right, was old <laughs> enough to have the diaper on and the shirt <laughs> and the shirt. They yeah. graduated to so diaper I think it's about shirt a year. Combo. A year, yeah. <laughs> but not two years. That's when they get pants. <laughs> yeah. The diaper's yeah. hidden. Yeah, but I said like... she picked. She tried to pick up twenty pounds, <laughs> and it was one little like, <laughs> and then she oh. tried again. It was like a little. <laughs> So there's so those. Uh, my point is, was yeah, no, I think they are grosser because yeah. it's mostly shit. It's bre- Yeah, that's true. They don't oh, know how to like. Been can- it's been a minute. It's been like five minutes. Right? Oh, did you say shit already? I said shit already. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We can say we can say we shit. can say shit now. Yeah, baby shit. shit. Yeah, baby, baby shit. fart. Do you- okay. <laughs> that. <laughs> so the baby was trying to pick up something. It didn't try. It actually picked it up. Actually, yeah, like and like babies are of- like ten pounds. Yeah. So the fact that it lifted its body weight. Yeah, it was like, probably a ten pound baby. And you can go and you can nah. Google that. It was like a twenty pound baby. Babies are born ten pounds. No, that's a fat baby. Right? I yeah. think I was seven pounds. Okay, yeah, no, Wait, fat I think baby. I was ten pounds. Yeah, no, I I was actually talking about this with my family. My cousin, he was born a thirteen pound baby and they're all time call him a fat ass baby and shit. I was like, Jesus. Yeah. Just fat shaming him, like right out the womb. Yeah, right First out the thing. womb. I know. It was a C-section thing, too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Is it because he was so was. fat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was coming out, like, head first. <laughs> oh, God. Is that how babies come out? Head I think first? they're supposed to go head yeah. first. Yeah. Pretty unsafe. It's a funny idea. Is like it comes out feet first, and the doctor just grabs the little ankles and just like, <laughs> <laughs> rips it out. <laughs> yeah. It's just he's holding two legs, two yeah, baby legs, and he pulls like, it out. Because, like, the legs, you know, the head for a baby, is, they have, like, a soft spot and stuff. Yeah. They're, much more sensitive, so mm-hmm. the feet you could just you know you could just yank right yeah, off. Yeah, because I've seen yeah. babies fall down sets of like thirty sets <laughs> of stairs and stuff. And they're fine. Yeah. So that you know, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. It's like I, as ba- babies, when you're born, you're like super flexible too, mm-hmm. and it's like I feel like it's one. It's like the drunk driving thing when like if you fall, like if you're. If you're drunk driving and you're like, yeah, you, most of you survive because your body's like limp. Yeah, you kill like seven people, but you're alive. But you're Somehow chill, there's, yeah. there's been three explosions. You crash into a tank and you're <laughs> yeah, alive, but yeah. everybody around you died. Somehow. Right. 
<laughs> but so I guess it's babies and drunk drivers are the same in that sense. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> that, that's what people say, right? They're babies are just drunk adults, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, I, true. I, people have said that. Yeah, I'm not making that up. Right? Yeah, people have said that. I think. Um, if I'm well, making that up, I'll put that on a T-shirt. Or <laughs> Um, off well, thanks for coming on the podcast. Yeah, thank um, you so much for inviting me. Yeah, I uh, I feel like we talked about this like so long ago. Yeah, it's um, been a while. It's been a long time. I'm happy you guys made the journey. Um, you had to drive through fuck, the worst parts of Ontario, and I'm sorry. But... Oh, it's okay. It's always like <laughs> driving through on the 401. You see some crazy stuff sometimes. Mm-hmm. We saw we saw like a three hundred thousand dollar car. We saw like an Audi R8. It was really nice, and half the thing was it was broke. Like the the door was off, basically. Oh, and he was just driving? Yeah. Jesus. He had turbo on it, everything, speed and stuff. No, he wasn't. He was actually kind of slow, wasn't he? <laughs> Not using but it so to full don't, potential. Just, I don't think you see that too often. Like something that trashy, you have a $300,000 car. Right. You can't afford the, to get it fixed. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I always t- I talked about this on my podcast a few months ago, and then people got a little upset with me because I guess it was a tone deaf take, which is fair, but I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn my lesson. Uh, in America, I just I did a tour in America last year, and um, the big I've, huge one, yeah, yeah. And I, in my life, I have never seen so many fucked up cars in my life. Oh. And being in America, like every other car is fucking totaled, and it's like a door falling off. Everybody's window is like a piece of duct tape and shit, and it's like. And I was on my podcast. I was like, "Hey, just get your fucking car fixed. How about like you have like that's not." Just get it fixed. Also, drive better. You know, that's all I was saying. And then people were like, "Well, pe- people don't. Have, people can't afford it, Curtis. You can't just be go. That's such a privilege take." And it's like, you could just not get in an accident, though. That's the other thing you could do, right? You could get a new car too. Yeah, just buy a new car. You, your car that you already have, that's already <laughs> totaled, is a thousand dollars, right? If you're right. going to replace that, whatever parts that that's two thousand dollars. I yeah, I would like to double down on my privilege take and even, and go a step further. I think you should buy a new car, a better one, a, uh, <laughs> like a like a what's the car that you saw? The uh, the, R8. Audi, the Audi. Audi. Yeah, yeah, I think everyone's just buy an Audi. Yeah, that's Get probably that. like the one true fix to everything. Uh, like buy America's problems is to buy an Audi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd uh, say so. You got an Audi or, or an Innie? <laughs> I have an idiot. Okay, I'm f- I'm afraid of Audis. Actually, <laughs> I've seen all, I've never seen I've never seen one like so bad in person. But like, if right. I I've seen them online, and they I have to scroll past it. I, I get scared. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, how did this happen? This yeah. is a catastrophe, and I feel so bad for this. This is person. a medical kerfuffle. This is an yeah. accident. You're a mistake if you have that. You know, yeah. and it freaks me out. But sometimes when I think about if I had one, it's like, it would so gross. What if I had one? I think, you know, it's normalized. I'd be playing with that shit all the time. I'd be like, <laughs> flicking You're it around, fucking... putting it in. I'm like, oh, I got an <laughs> idiot. And, and then I push it out, fly out, put like a little M&M in there or something. <laughs> put an M&M in there just like. <laughs> Take someone's fucking eye out with your, with your Audi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've never thought of it like that. I feel like I also have like, I have an any as well. Yeah. Thank God. Because I feel like you, you probably would have left if I, I would have thrown, <laughs> thrown this through. I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I have um. No, I have only if Indian. you showed it to me. Under the shirt is fine. That's fine. Because you know? to me, you have everyone has an Indian until you Now see people it. are going to be sending me pictures of their Audis. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I feel like that's the... that You know how, like... um. You know how, like, back in, like, the early 2000s, the, like, stomachs were all, like, the thing? Like Everybody had an every, Audi back Everybody the was, like, stomachs <laughs> out. Like, oh, Britney Spears got her stomach out. Then it moved to, like, boobs. Then it went to butt. I think, what's, like, the next... I feel like <laughs> as time goes on, it's going to get, like, more specific. So, at some point, it's going to be, like, a belly button thing. Like, yeah. people are going to go, like, to get a surgically implanted, like, Audi. I think it's going to get further down the line of going the opposite way, because... Y- I feel like people are putting on more clothes more now than ever. You know, Balenciaga a couple years ago had a shirt and then they stitched another shirt on top of right, it. And yeah. then I think they had a, the end of a shirt hanging off the bottom of the shirt. <laughs> and then they had jeans where they just stitched a pair of smaller jeans right. on top of that. And that was an outfit on the runway. That was a couple of years ago. And I think it's just more clothes now. So it's, it has to reach a point where there's so much clothes to go back and then what's going to start? It's basically restarting. So may, what would it start off with then? Maybe elbows. Take out the elbows. Knees. No, that's already a thing. Like cut jeans. Sorry, I'm thinking too much. Yeah. I think what you're saying, it would go all the way back to like I'm early saying that, times? Yeah. No, I'm saying that 
it got to a point where basically celebrities were naked, right? That's what you're saying. It was stomachs, and then it was boobs, and yeah. then it was low cut jeans, and your ass crack was hanging out. Right. Not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it got to a certain point where it's like, there's no more. We must. We've have, yeah. We've now seen everybody's every wearing point. more clothes. You don't right. see much of that as much. I'm so there's going to be the great reset, basically the it's rapture. A, it's just I maybe people got so sick of like not wearing enough clothes. They're like, okay, we need to wear more clothes. And it's going to get to a point where it's like, we're wearing too much clothes now. We have to go back. <laughs> we have to get naked. We're yeah. going to be cavemen. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much cl- people walking around with like 40 jackets on at the yeah. same time. Just fucking. Well, I mean, that's like safer probably. Yeah. Back to the drunk driving thing. Have you ever everybody seen everybody those- wears 40 coats at the same time. Oh, my God. Have you seen those good. jackets that are being invented in like Japan, I think? They're, um, they're for old people. It's actually genius. <laughs> I don't know how many people in Japan fall over old people fall over, but it's basically like, um, uh, I can't, why, why can't I think of it in a car? It's like the like airbags, the airbags, airbags, yeah. but it but, senses when you're falling and then airbags pop out whoa. of the jacket and it becomes like this safety thing. And it's damn. designed for old people who <laughs> fall over. Oh, damn. But it looks okay. amazing. Cause it like pops out like an airbag. It's like, pfft. can I, oh, I just peek the mic there? Probably. Oh, that's okay. I want to look up. It's an incredible because like Air they're designed jacket. for old people, but I want it. Smart jacket. Oh, it's like a motor bag. That they got a. It comes out. Bike? It's like a. It's like a huge That's like a pillow. Motor bag. That's not what that is. I meant to say motorbike. I said motor bag. You meant to say motorbike. I said motorbike. Okay, the smart uh, jacket. Okay, so is this wait, you're saying there was one? Should I search airbag airbag jacket for old people? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on uh, Twitter or something. Oh yeah, there you go. It's incredible because Dude, it, like yeah. I want it. I want to fall over <laughs> in this shit. Yeah, it comes Yo. with a hood and stuff too. Damn, why is this the most like sensual ass <laughs> looking picture I've ever seen? <laughs> what? In the... Yo, <laughs> what? Damn. Like the thing. Like I like to think that I'd be I'd be wearing the jacket. And I'm like mm, I want a nap, and I just I'm in the middle of the street. And I just you just hoist back. myself back. <laughs> yeah, and then it's just. <laughs> I want to get back to that original picture of this most seductive old man. <laughs> that was insane. He was like laying like. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's damn. touching his leg. Yeah, damn. He's looking at the camera with those sad eyes. He's got the <laughs> I just eyes. fell down. Like, Help me, please. Ouch. He just looks, no, that like guy George. didn't say ouch. He's wearing the goddamn jacket. <laughs> yeah, true. He said, ooh. He said, yum. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> he said, that was yummy for my body. He uh he looks like George Washington kind of with the the hair like if that you know how George or is it you know how oh like his, had, that like, looks like a wig yeah, yeah, yeah. also like they what used if, to bring that back in fashion actually <laughs> speaking about like, on this also, topic could bring you imagine, the wigs back and the powdered yeah. faces yeah that's true okay we we'll, we'll bring that back yeah everybody who's listening to the podcast we got to bring back old Victorian ass outfits yeah. corsets and shit yeah uh, not bathing nope just dirty balls it was all part of it. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine if like I'm just thinking of like this this fucking jacket? If you went to like a thrift store and you you like saw this vest and you're like, oh, that's a cool vest, and you like threw it on, you're just thinking it's a normal vest, and then you like go down for a nap and it's just Poof, and you're like, what the fuck? That'd be I, so fucking scary. I constantly think I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> I just have so much anxiety that I think that would do it for me because right, it's intense. When it pops out, it's like. An airbag. It yeah. literally explodes. There's a Damn. little bit of dust that come. You can see when it explodes. You know. I wonder if there's like they got like videos. Yeah, they they got videos. The reason why I say it's from Japan because it was all Asian people doing it. <laughs> there's Asian people everywhere, Freddie. True, but there was like <laughs> ten videos and they were all Asian. Uh-huh. I'm like, well, they're, okay. they're well, so there's, advanced. This is in Japan another... and stuff over in those countries. The YouTube videos are in another language, so. Okay. Also, what is that? Indonesian. Also, why does the header just say man body? <laughs> and it's the same picture of the guy. It's the same. I can tell it's the same pose. <laughs> He's touching his leg. Man body. <laughs> Are they going to be able to see this? Uh, Should I get in the pose <laughs> so, they can, <laughs> so they know? People, well, they'll be able to see on the video. People who are listening are going to be very confused. But. It's uh, I'll describe it. It's like you're laying on your side, but you're you're kind of propping yourself up with your elbow so your like torso's kind of half up and then your le- your arm that's not propping you up is touching your knee and you're making a face like mm-hmm. you want to you know you want to get frisky or something okay and he's what, like 85 years old 
not the most pleasant sign. Oh my god. Are you... She's running and she trips over like an acorn or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, old people are like, well, do you think um I'm just thinking like if you introduce yeah, like if this becomes like a normal thing, right? Like old people wearing these safe jackets, do you think that'll it'll become it'll like it'll like make people think like oh i can just push old people now like you know it sort of gives them the okay yeah right <laughs> i so mean I'm I would, if i thought that that's one of those jackets yeah they're gonna be fine the only reason why you don't push over an old person is because they Cause probably will smoke die. their head no yeah. they like it's not even that it's it if they break something and they're very fragile it's not even they smoke their head because you could just push over anybody they crack their head they get a concussion yeah if an old person gets hurt in that sort of sense like damage their body Mm -hmm. they could die they're dead yeah you know i don't want that that's just the way so this is sort of leveling the playing field Mm -hmm. we can sort of push them around football league with old people wearing these goddamn jackets (laughs) full contact (laughs) and no injury (laughs) that'd be awesome (laughs) Yeah, it's like that speech in uh, one of the... Are you a Marvel fan? <laughs> they were. All right. Oh, I like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I, I okay. like that one. I like James Gunn. Well, there is a, there is a speech I think Ultron makes in Age of Ultron where he's like, oh, yeah, you know, that. sort of when a, if there's like a big superhero, it sort of breeds a, a super villain to show it and like contest it, you know? So it's like, that's sort of the same thing. It's like, if this oh. happens, this, this shows up and... <laughs> There's going to be a fucking guy running around and any old person wearing this jacket, he's going to be like, ha! Ah. They're their- going to be on TikTok too. <laughs> yeah. Video recording themselves. They're going to be famous. They're gonna- yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> Today we are quality assurance testing for the jacket company. It's like hunting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to a retirement home and I'm going to push these fuckers down the stairs. It's going to become so popular. It's going to be like hit- a sport. <laughs> And uh, you're gonna need. It's gonna be like hunting. You're gonna <laughs> yeah. need a license to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you only push over three old people. Yeah. And then it's yeah, it's gonna like escalate to be like, all right, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit them with my car and see if it. It's like <laughs> no, we didn't design it for that. I wonder if you could hit. That would be funny if they put like that. Like they did that demonstration. Yeah. They tested like it by shooting dummies. with a fucking gun. Yeah. yeah, let's test out the jacket that protects you if you fall down. It, by like shooting ex- him in the it chest. Could, it could detect the bullet right when it's about to hit you. It deflects the bullet right back yeah. at the <laughs> perpetrator. <laughs> okay, let's. I want to watch this. And yeah. See how it. Uh, see how it works. Human, Human airbag. airbag protection. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Damn, it seems pretty, uh... Damn. So it's like whenever you're sideways, it just automatically goes? I don't know, like... Because there's a lot of times that you're set... Like, if you're on a roller coaster, you do a loop-de-loop, it could fucking set the thing off, you know? That's true. I don't, I don't they're know... Not de- they're not thinking about this shit, man. Yeah. And we are. You know, I just realized how... Maybe it explains it in this. Uh, how, yeah, do you, maybe... how does it go back? How do you put it back? Like, what oh, causes yeah. it to... You just have to lay on the is floor it a, forever. Is it, no, is it like a one-time use? Because aren't airbags like a one-time use? Yeah. I kind of think you have to like refill it or like you have to do something to it, right? I think so. You can't just like stuff her back in and yeah. be like, all right, let's, let's <laughs> back, back to driving. <laughs> I think if someone has to like do it, right? Yeah. Okay, what does it protect? Full hip protection. All right. Full head protection. Why is that one red? Oh. <laughs> Complete neck support. Top shoulder protection. Collarbone, I guess? Yeah, top shoulder. I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> they give so much space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. They came back. Strong back. Tailbone protection. <laughs> Just goes over his penis. Cock protection. Cock protection. Balls protection. It kind of looks like uh, one of those... When you're starting like a a Wii game, like that's a me, like you know, it's yeah, like giving it you all the safety instructions. <laughs> this is a uh, yeah, the deleted scenes from the Wii Fit instruction video. Yeah, <laughs> man, what's that? Rib protection? Okay, boring. Let me see how fucking how does it work? <laughs> T pose, baby. <laughs> that's not even like a T pose. That's like an M pose. Yeah, lowercase yeah, like M. That. Pose. I like that one. That's the new one. Yeah. Developers, so, start putting your uh, 
models like that now. We're bringing back uh, in Victorian fashion, and we're introducing M posing. Yes. Uh, so high quality like, sensors ensure a precise detection of a fall and very fast activation of the airbag inflation. Lightweight system. The system is lightweight, and the weight is comfortably distributed over the whole vest. All right, let me see an example here. We got a guy falling over. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, my God. He, <laughs> he's a statue. Do old people fall like that? Are they completely, like, <laughs> stricken with, like, rigor mortis or something? Yeah, they're, they've already been dead. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, this will be good. Uh, <laughs> this protects dead people from fucking up their body anymore. <laughs> so you can have an open casket still. I just had a funny idea. What if it wasn't, like... um. Uh, like activated through like the act of like falling, but it was voice activated, <laughs> and so, so it was the distinct. You know how old people's like screams are very distinct. They're like, oh! yeah, they're like they're about to die because yeah. yeah, they're about to die. Yeah, they, but it's like <laughs> it's very distinct compared yeah. to like a young Whoa! person. Yeah, yeah, that's like a lady and old yeah. man. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. <laughs> so like, so just in case like a young kid gets it on, right? And it's like, yeah, ah! yeah. it's like a no, careless he can yeah. fall. He this can old fall person, we. Need, it was voice activated, mm-hmm. depending on like what frequencies the old people's voices. Because there's <laughs> yeah. no fucking way that a child can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the inverse, they put out a vest for kids, and they make it more dangerous, more hurtful if they fall. Yeah. Like a bunch of spikes come out of it. They just like it. crush it. No, instead of it going <laughs> out, it goes in and crushes yeah. their body. <laughs> Build their immune system, right? Oh, that person actually just. Oh yeah. Look at them fall, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <Depth> system testing. <laughs> 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 Isn't that just incredible technology, dude? Wow. Holy cow. Like, is this actually an old person? Also, it sounds he like a gunshot, screen. dude. <laughs> it's a literal airbag. Like, wasn't it? <laughs> That's loud as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, sure, you're, you're like, your head's going to be fine, but you can't fucking hear you're, it. Yeah, and you're actually. falling, too, so people just automatically think you got shot. <laughs> They're <laughs> running away from you. They think there's a shooter around. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking All right, it's just playing the same thing over and over again. I love how he dropped the cane. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Do they have one when he's, like, falling backwards? Because that's, like, the real... I that's feel like old people always... <laughs> yeah, old people always be falling backwards. Damn. Isn't that incredible, though? That's great. You saw that on TikTok? Yeah. Or Damn. Twitter, some one of those, one of the apps probably. Probably TikTok actually. That's where I see most of my content. Yeah. Um, for those of the for those of you who don't know, for, uh, probably not. But for, I mean, you probably have like the best for you page on TikTok just based on the things that you've sent me. I feel like I've, I feel like I have a third eye was opened for me yeah. when, from seeing all the videos. It's that you a lot sent of me. degenerate shit. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. It's a whole. Um, it's a, it's been when was musically switched into TikTok? It's been that long. Um, of cu- wow, yeah, it's been like fucking four yeah, years now, probably curating my for you page, the same profile. Got, I got Damn. my. Uh, so you were you were using musically before? Yeah, because of uh, PewDiePie had those uh, cringe compilations or something. Oh, okay, and it yeah. was all like the furries and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I just want to. I don't like PewDiePie like that. I just, I'm just gonna I just watch need, it myself. I just want to you know, like cut PewDiePie. out the middleman. Yeah, yeah. I don't Damn. need his uh, Swedish commentary. Dude, um, there's a th- little little story about uh, Musical.ly. I was out um, the other night with um, it was Jacob and Dean and everybody. And it was like the night after uh, Laura's party. And uh, Jacob said he just found out that night because we were talking about TikTok and Musical.ly. And yeah. he just found out from the conversation we were having that TikTok used to be Musical.ly. No way. He found out like two nights he ago. He didn't have a crazy reaction unless I was just that drunk and I didn't pick up on it. But he was I like, thought he knew because we were talking about it for a while. Really? I, not a while, but like we t- we talked about it, right? I don't know. I guess Maybe I don't, it wasn't with Jacob. But it's, so he found out that he night. He found out. The next night. Yeah. Okay. And we you. were like, how? And he's a YouTube. Like, I feel like he should know. He makes videos about TikTok like all the time. It's like, I feel like you should be. You know, musically was huge too. I'm surprised you just kind of like missed that kind of switcheroo. Right. Yeah. I don't. That kind of pissed me off, Loki. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't talked to him. I was going to smack his bald head. 
Okay. Um, I actually found a few TikToks that I would love to uh, to show you um, oh. that I know that you'd like. But I'm just trying to figure out how to get the sound over to um, this monitor over here. There's got to be a way to do it, right? There's got to be a way. Technology, dude. And I in in yeah, I probably could have done this earlier. Yeah, probably could. I was here before you guys. I probably could have figured it out, but I didn't feel like it. I felt like eating my chocolate chip muffin. Was it yummy? It was really good. What was it missing though? It was missing the crack rocks on top of it that Tim Hortons <laughs> used to put on the fucking muffins. Do you right. have a lot of Canadian listeners on this podcast? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah a lot. I mean, like, um, I don't know. Because sometimes I will be like, shout out to all like, Canadians are like, if you're Canadian, leave a... And then they will. But then like, I'm also like, if I didn't say that, they wouldn't do anything. So yeah. I wouldn't know, you know? So I'm not like in every episode, I'm like, if you're from America, fucking leave a comment. Because then that would be overwhelming. But yeah. Okay, good. To answer your question more simply, yeah, I, uh, I think there are some, a good amount of Canadians. Just so they know what we're talking about. Tim Tim yeah, here. very niche. Well, dude, when... Because the fucking company who owns Burger King bought Tim Hortons. Like that years became, ago, like, kind of. That's when it that got weird. The sugar. That's why they did the first fucking order of business was taking the awesome sugar off the chocolate chip muffins. For anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, there was muffins. <laughs> they didn't at uh, this restaurant, Tim Hortons, this yeah. Canadian relic. Uh, years ago, they used to put these like fat chunks of sugar on it, and it was just like a nice like texture. It was really the really soft muffins with like this crunchy mm-hmm. sugar on it. And then like five years ago, they stopped putting it on it for some reason. It was like the main ingredient. It made it so much better. Yeah. It was awesome, and they fu- they did a lot of weird shit. Honestly, they sold the uh, like the Tim Hortons brew to McDonald's, didn't they? Yeah, the original, and they switched it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's that's like, stupid. Then they started making like chicken sandwiches and fucking pizzas. They and have shit. chicken like, nuggets and stuff yeah, now. You- Guys, it used to be a coffee shop, man. And their old cups used to be so nice. There was like a little family getting home on like a Christmas morning. Mm-hmm. It was like so comforting. And now it's like, we made a pizza for you. It's like, I don't know. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if they made a pizza. They literally did. Let me show you. And uh, they did? Yeah, I'm not lying. I saw it on TikTok, man. Or musically. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I kind of fuck with their sandwiches sometimes, though. They got this uh, the, the biscuit sandwich with the sausage. I think it's called like a farmer's breakfast or something. Oh, yeah, but that's like a breakfast sandwich. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's okay. But like, but like all those places that make like breakfast a sandwich. Breakfast sandwiches. That that one's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like it's like top five breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, me. that's a pretty good breakfast sandwich. But no, but anything is, else is good. Look, oh come on! They made like a flatbread pizza, and of course, fucking Nar City and Blog Tio were coming their pants about it. This you, this Tim Horton is making a pizza now. You can get. Where it. was this? Toronto. Yeah, I think it was in like Mississauga or some shit. Oh. Like some random. They did like a test. Yeah, that's for people. Like, yeah, I'd, well, if I'm it was in front of me, I'd try. I wouldn't order it, but it doesn't look that bad. But you know it's bad. You know that <laughs> shit is bad. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> it's a coffee shop. Yeah, it's going to taste like fucking balls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I got some videos that I saved that I'd love to uh, that I'd love to play for you. Yes, I'd love to see The audio see might some. be coming from here, but that's that's fine. Okay. Can you see this? Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I'm going to get hate for this, I feel like, but can we break the stigma that $100,000 is like a lot of money or something to aspire to? Like, if that's your immediate goal, amazing, but that's if that's your immediate goal, amazing, but that's not a lot of money and it's not that fucking hard to do. Like, you need to aim high. $100,000? Like, think about it, right? $8,333 a month. It's not that fucking hard. Pretty much all of you can create an online business. <laughs> Oh my God! You can charge clients two thousand dollars. What is she talking about? Literally just posting for a brand on Instagram and TikTok a couple times a week. Oh my God! You can God. easily charge two thousand dollars for. Get four. This is what people thought I was saying when I said that all the cars in America have getting yeah. <laughs> fucked up. People are like, "This is what you're saying, man." What do you What do you think she lives to have that opinion, though? Actually, no. I, I like I kind of get a hundred thousand. No, I don't get it at all. I was gonna say she lives somewhere where like rent is really cheap. You know, to have that yeah. stupid opinion. But it looks like from what I'm like, from what I'm looking at, it looks like she from what I'm looking at, a white girl with the done <laughs> eyebrows, <Yeah>. thin hair. <laughs> and uh, it looks like a nice apartment. She's wearing her. like a v- yeah, she yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. The glass goes that. That's how you know she made it. Yeah, the, the glass, glass goes, goes all the, the way up. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she eight. What was the price? Eight thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars. That's a month. month? It's yes. not that fucking hard. Just be, just be a card. Thirty-three dollars. Pretty much all of you can create an online business. To create an online business or learn an online skill where you can charge clients two thousand dollars. Okay, this is the thing I don't understand about people like this, and it's like. It's same as like finance bros on TikTok or like when they have podcasts and it's like, everyone can just do this. Everyone could start like a, a course and it's like every single person is going to just have their own course that they charge 2000 Who's going to, no one's going to, no one has, like that doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's no, literally not, there's not enough people to do that. The right? fucked up thing is though that people try though. Right. Like the most random yeah. Joe Schmo person will have. Like a, a seminar that you pay fifty dollars for per month and shit, right? Like, and he says nothing, and it's about <laughs> yeah. marketing. What the hell yeah. does this guy know about marketing? Yeah, it's exactly. a, it's a fucking people. I have this ide- ideology about working for Andrew Tate. You know, like um, mm-hmm. people post his videos, and then you get they get like a fraction. Andrew Tate pays them out somehow, right? And then that's their business. That that's what they get from these types of videos, right? Right. But yeah, no. When pe- so people really do believe that everybody can make one, everyone can, make anybody can make one because they do it. We're watching it happen. <laughs> Posting for a brand on Instagram and TikTok a couple times a week, you can easily charge two thousand dollars for. You get four to five clients by doing that, and you've hit your hundred k dream. Again, if that's your goal for Q one, Q two, or twenty twenty three, amazing. But for the next couple of years, and certainly your entire career, you need to dream bigger. Wow. What a bitch. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, like what an asshole! That is not that much money. Fucking... You need to be. You need to be dream bigger. I, I want to know what her suggestions are to be selling two thousand yeah. dollars per person f- monthly. Who's paying that for <laughs> yeah. whatever you provide? Right. What are you doing? You're po- she said she's posting TikToks and Instagrams for people like for for brands oh, for brands for fucking. That's different though. She's telling just make a business. Like, do yeah. something else. Like, I want to hear her suggestions. If that's her one suggestion, she's a <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. Helping honestly, nobody. Guys, $100,000 is not that much money. It's actually fucking easy. And you guys are idiots if you don't have a hundred grand. That's so ignorant to say that. That's easy money. I, I, I make $100,000 when I take a shit, you know? <laughs> I'm just sitting there. <laughs> okay, I've got, uh, I got one I love more. this guy already. Have you seen this? No. Okay, this I one's have been this... making the rounds on TikTok today. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's um, today. But this one I know you're going to love. I'm seeing that a lot of uh, women are making these videos of why they like the bad boys. Yeah. Ladies, don't sell yourself short. Get yourself Ooh, a man <laughs> who can do it all. <laughs> oh, no. Is he going to transition? The sexy professor. The bad boy that'll possibly, the bad boy that'll possibly just steal your heart and toy with it. The guy that'll dress up and have a good time with you. Oh. Dude, he's got the fucking contacts. Or just be goofy. Whichever. <laughs> he's a vampire now. Oh, this guy no. can be best thing. Does he got anything else? And the teeth. Oh, he's got the teeth. <laughs> yeah, even before he's a vampire. Oh, my God. I wonder if they're the glow in the dark ones. <laughs> or just be goofy. Whichever. Oh, he's a little gooster. But the best thing that you can find is a guy that's comfortable with just being himself. Yeah, brother. Stop looking so hard. We're easy to find. You're right there, brother. Man. Oh, uh, what a guy. Dude, the fucking, like, walk up at the end, too. Like, he's like... Yeah. Well, Reason to find. See you later. Even though he's holding the phone right there. <laughs> gotta be comfortable with y- yourself, you know. I gotta shit my pants right now. <laughs> yeah, gotta love a man like me. I've been looking at myself too long. I'm about to fucking calm my pants. <laughs> I think I'm so hot. I love the spacers too. The the classy look is the best for sure. If if someone yeah. pulled up to me like that, I'm like, this guy smoked meth in two thousand. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, this I like has this at, guy. This guy has at least four kids, you know? Yeah. That's what that's a that's a look. look at what he's got the Joker on his wall. Is he's that the a Joker? Pa- that's a Papa Roach poster. Oh my god. Not even a poster, it's a Papa Roach flag. Oh, it's like a <laughs> what, is it, what is that website called? Redbubble? You got that from yeah, Redbubble, yeah. yeah. Papa Roach flag and the Joker poster. Yeah, classic. The Joker spacers. poster from Walmart for sure, and the, you know, like the little things where you like, <laughs> yeah, got that from there. Twelve ninety nine. This is this brand of man is like I love him. It's so fascinating because he's like, I feel like I went to high school with like ninety of these guys, like, but they were they weren't like this is the fully evolved form, and it's scary to think about all. <laughs> like, yeah, because most mo- of the people aren't that after high school. Those those type of dudes they just disappear. Like you never uh-huh. hear of them again. Like they're not right. associated with anybody that you even like they were associated with. They just disappear. I know what you mean. They just have their jobs. Thank, that's what I love about TikTok. 
uh-huh. it shows me them again. They <laughs> right. still exist. He's like, oh, that's what they're up to. Oh my god, he's, uh, he can do it all. Yeah. I just always say that about him. And let's, uh, let's watch it again. I want to see that again. I need to analyze these. The sexy professor. Yes. The bad boy that'll possibly just steal okay, your heart. Okay, pause it. I want to see what he's wearing. What is this shirt? Is it like a? It looks like a woman in labor or something. Uh, like what is she, what yeah, is it's a, it's a it's a doctor pulling out a baby feet first it looks like no way <laughs> no it's um <laughs> i think it's a i think it's like a, a girl who's like she's in a bikini oh yeah the bad boy wait hold on let me let me screenshot this is that, are those really the same jeans in. too those are jeans yeah are they the same jeans was he wearing jeans in the first he in the was. class it was went? a sport jacket it was a sport coat and oh jeans. it's a different jean oh we got okay a little darker jean okay so he's he got went, two jeans he went the light jean for the the what's this guy what's his character this is the classy one <laughs> the classy sexy one who can do it all <laughs> The sexy, uh, sexy, professor. Professor. The sexy yeah. professor. Okay, yeah, the sexy professor. The bad boy that'll possibly just steal your heart and toy like with the it. The bad boy that'll possibly steal your heart and toy with it. I like how he's uh, this video. He's like, who can do it all? But he only gives three of his <laughs> characters. He has yeah. all of them, but he only does three. I want to see that's all. Of them. That's all there is. I want to see the, the skateboarding version of this guy. There's three. I want to see the club. I want to see yeah I when he like... goes out to like a McDonald's. <laughs> I want to see when he's. Uh, I want to see his jammies. <laughs> yeah, his pajamas. And he probably has jammies for each of these characters, right? Right, yeah. He's got like a full Like the bad boy, he's wearing like he's puts on like a studded thing. He's wearing like yeah. jorts. And like a wife beater for you know he's got little slippers on though. The vampire character he sleeps like <laughs> he's got a, a coffin. coffin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um okay, so his shirt looks like I wanna say it's like a snake wrapped around a girl who has angel wings. It kinda looks like she has um like a skull face too. Like her eyes look all sunken. Yeah. In. Skull, oh, she has wings. Yeah, she has wings. Oh. A skull woman with wings, uh, with like a snake bikini. Damn. Where that's the that, fuck that's what I wanted to see. One of those stores in like, in like a strip mall, but it's the strip mall's inside, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> and the store is like half like where you can buy chips, and then there's like <laughs> an abundance of bootleg clothes in it yeah. too, with one of those. <laughs> What what is that coffee place called? Like the John's Coffee? It's it's in every St. John's Coffee. It's got that neon blue light. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think so. It's at like gas stations, at like convenience stores and shit. It's like the greasiest just the shit. Coffee, it's it yeah. says like St. Jimmy's Coffee or St. John's Coffee, and it's just like a machine that you buy off Amazon. And it's just <laughs> I don't understand it. It's the head- but it's one of those stores. That's where you get that. And like the bedazzled like ha- fitteds and stuff. Yeah, or yeah. Amazon. I got a sick ass shirt that it's not the same. It's not the same at all. But like, <laughs> I, don't I got a shirt. My only shirt that's kind of like similar. It's uh, it's Nike. Did I show you that shirt? I don't know. It's insane. Uh, it says it's the Nike logo, but instead of it saying Nike, it says fuck. And you know, like where the swish is, it's a Mickey Mouse hand flipping you off. Whoa. And then it said it has. Nicki Minaj kind of like bent over with her ass up and Ted from Ted, like the bear, <laughs> slapping her fucking ass. <laughs> Damn. It's crazy. And it's Damn. a and it's like a white shirt and then it has camo sleeves. Holy shit. Got off that got that off Amazon. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, oh my god. I mean mine's much more like insane, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you, know. you gotta send me a picture so I can put on the podcast. Yeah, it will. Fucking insane. I think I have a picture of me wearing this. <laughs> I had my hat like turned like this. I was looking down all sad. I had my. <laughs> I'll send you the picture. That's so. Funny. Oh, we can't forget about the vampire fit. Yeah, that's a that's a good vamp fit. Uh, he's got a cool pop socket on his phone too, which I like. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, let's get that for the thumbnail. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. How's that goofy? I don't think uh, he was so specific with the the sexy professor. <laughs> yeah. Why does this? Guy, why can't this be your vampire look, dude? No, he's just being goofy. That's man. not goofy to me. That's scary. Yeah, goofy. If, if like, a little up, windmill like, hat. <laughs> put one of those on. Yeah. <laughs> if you like, you're at a party and that guy's here. He's like, "What the fuck's over that vampire guy?" And he's like, "What? Eh, that's Todd. He's just being goofy. He's just man. Goofy. Stop. Just give him a break. He's just being <laughs> a fucking goofy guy." And, and he's, he's in the like, corner, he's going like this. <laughs> yeah. He keeps trying to suck my neck, dude. He's, not being, he's fucking scaring us. Dude, he tried bit me, dude, in plastic, like, <laughs> yeah. got all over me. It felt weird. I mentioned ordering garlic bread. He almost fucking killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you are comfortable being with yourself. I don't think like you. four different guys. Yeah. You strike me as somebody who's very, very insecure. <laughs> 
But hey, what but do we know? I don't know. You might just be being yourself. Is this is this version of him himself? It's, is that the vampire shirt or is that his nighttime shirt? It kind of looks thin. Like, you know what I mean? Is that the uh, vampire shirt? Like, I, I don't see the gold strip in that. Yeah. Oh, it's a necklace there. Oh, it's a necklace. I think that's his vampire shirt. So Got his default I went, his vampire during the, like, during the, he hasn't gone full vampire. I wonder what character this because he took the teeth out. Uh, yeah. This is just himself then, yeah. Yeah. This is, so... Okay, maybe he filmed this out of order. He filmed this first, and then he got bitten. He became a vampire. <laughs> he got sort of turned into a vampire, and then he recorded the last part. He's like, oh, I got to add one more guy now, because I'm also a vampire now. <laughs> he gave it to somebody who else to edit it, too. They had no idea what the fuck was going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he sent it. I don't know how to edit. Just edit Went on Fiverr. <laughs> Found one for like three bucks on Fiverr. Yeah, the most easy video to edit. He can't figure it out. Still took three weeks to, <laughs> to come back. Does he have an eyebrow piercing? I just noticed that. Uh, That's something you don't see often man. anymore. Yeah, that. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, unless it's like two like crumbs. Yeah, no, this guy definitely smoked math. Now that I know that, like it's a hundred percent. Now he's got the spacers. He has the the goatee and the spiked yeah. hair. He's that type of white dude who <laughs> smoked meth in 2000 to 2005. Yeah. Wore jorts that were too long. They weren't even jorts. They were like kind of like the Capri things, but they would only go to like here, right. but they were jorts. Yeah, yeah. They were like, like the XXXL that like <laughs> went way too long for yeah, you. Yeah, this guy has a closet it was that guy. full of Osiris shoes mm-hmm. probably. He's got a closet full of demons. I know what you did in yeah. 2005. Closet brother. full of vampires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of his vampire friends. <laughs> It's like that movie, uh, the, what is it called? Uh, what We Do in the Shadows? Yeah. It's a bunch of vampire friends. I've never seen it, but I, I know. Yeah, I know yeah, yeah. Yeah. This was the prequel to that. This would be a perfect character for that movie, actually. Quit, uh, quit looking so hard, ladies. We're easy to find. <laughs> Just open any old coffin and we're in there sleeping. I wonder who's, uh, who saw this and was now his girlfriend. Because yeah. this is sexy. This is awesome. This is hot as hell. If I had a fucking... Juicy puss. <laughs> I'm yours, be, buddy. I think it'd be squirting all over the place. I'd be squirting, slipping in it. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd squirt, slipping it, but I have my jacket on. So you're safe. Oh, oh, safe. And you scream like an old lady yeah. to trigger it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do an old lady scream. But yeah, that's <laughs> it's a really guttural. Like it's a really. Yeah, I don't want to be too loud. There's an old, the older. All right. <laughs> I was gonna say the older women get. The more the more uh, scary their like screams become. I feel like. Have you heard your Have you heard your, like your mom yell? Yeah, for sure. She's easily frightened. Right. I'll just walk around the corner and she'll <laughs> yeah. fully hear my steps. And but <laughs> as soon as she sees a little bit of me, she's screaming at the top of her lungs. And like you know those videos of like Karens, like old Karens being like just fucking scream. Like it's such a, it's such a gnarly scream, and mm-hmm. it really doesn't have to be. You know. Yeah. So they're just like. This is a good example of that. I saw it last night. I've seen the video before, but it's a dude on uh, one of those paid scooters, and he tries to do a drift right in front of an old lady. He eats shit. Oh. And she gets startled. She screams once. Like, ah! Yeah. But then she's, I think, pissed off at the fact that she got scared, and she just doesn't stop. She's just laying it out on him. Whoa. And the, it seems like a British guy. Says, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> typical I'm... British guy. As far as he didn't shank her then. <laughs> it was typical. Typical. All right, damn. But it's like, a horrifying video. That's what those point. We're at like forty-five minutes already. Um, hey. I, I'd like, but you know what? I think we're gonna keep chopping it up on the bonus episode. So if you guys want to go check out patreon.com slash very really good, uh, maybe we'll actually, because uh, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have any of that planned really. But it no. sort, of, sort of kept going. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, that was good. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna keep chopping it up on the on the bonus episode. So if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, if not, uh, thanks for coming on, dude. This yeah. was really fun. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, yeah, you obviously go, go listen to go listen to Freddie's music. Go check him out. Um, we all, we didn't talk about your music at all, but <laughs> now we don't need to talk about that. I am yeah. going on tour though. Yeah, where? where yeah, plug plug it. Please. Uh, where I don't know. We start off in Detroit, end off in Toronto, and then everywhere in between. Where can people? Uh, Freddie Dread on that. Freddie Dread. FreddieDreadTour.com. Nice. Yes. Crushed it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was like, Freddie Dread World Tour? Freddie Dread. Not World uh, Tour. I don't know. Vampires Weekly? I don't, uh, I don't know. Vampires <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll see the cool people over on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.